All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Got a good one for you today. Now listen, I'm speaking from my own experiences on some of the stuff I'm getting ready to tell you. Now, the first house that I bought was back in 1999. Um, yes, there's going to be a little story, but this you just have to listen because it's all going to tie in. When I first got it, I walked in and I was like, oh my gosh, the panel was an old 60 amp service, very terrible, all the wires were loose. My receptacles went from one wall. They literally took a little cord, one of those little lamp cords, you know, the real thin, cheap receptacles. They took a fish wire and they fished it under the carpet and pulled it up, drilled a hole in the bottom of my wall, up through the wall and put a receptacle there. I had no idea when I first bought this house and I was like, wow. The bathroom had no receptacles whatsoever in it. I was like, oh my gosh, wasn't gonna work. We did have two bathrooms. The other one, which was really weird, had one receptacle in it, but it was only a half bath, very small. My wife couldn't do anything in there to get ready, so she was like, we need to change this. So at the time, I, I didn't know a lot about different switches and different receptacles to buy. I didn't really know what to get. So what did I do? I redid the bathroom. I just took, I gutted it. I put an all new wire in, I put a heater, fart fan, uh, light and nightlight combo up in the ceiling. I mean, let me tell you, when it was done, it had a buku of receptacles. But for some people that don't have that option, let me show you something that I've been installing for quite some time. Now, you know in the bathroom, it's gotta be GFI protected, plain and simple. So this is what I'm talking about. You come to a house, this could be your house. Let's say you got a single gang, three gang, four gang, whatever you got here. I just got two switches here. Uh, no receptacles. That's, the only, that's all you got in there. How can you put a receptacle in there and basically, you know, make it work? Now, what I'm getting ready to tell you guys will only work, only work. Listen to me when I'm saying this, okay? Because this is important. This right here will only work if you have a neutral in there. If you do not have a neutral in there, this will not work. So if you open up your switch box and you do see a white wire in it, do not assume that that is a neutral. Because a lot of people, they would feed the hot wire. I know this is going to sound weird when I say this, but you just got to listen to me. Because this is important stuff. They'll feed the hot on the white wire coming down. They may have black electrical tape on it. I don't know. But if they do, um, you've, got to, you've got to take a meter and check. You've got to, you've got to know. Plain as if you've got 120 volts from that black and that white, or any black and the white in there, you've got a neutral in there. Don't worry about the ground. The ground is not what you need to be looking at. You need to make sure that you have a neutral. Plain and simple. Please make sure that. All right. Now that we got that out of the way. <laughs> Long drawn out, huh? All right. So what you got, when you get this box right here. This is a tamper-proof. It's a Switch GFI. And let me tell you, these things are a space saver. Now, this is what you got right here. This is what it looks like. You have your Switch because, you know, you're going to replace this, right? This switch right here, you still need a switch there for whatever reason, you know, park man or whatever you got. But you want a receptacle. Well, this, my friends, has a GFI built right into it. Such an awesome design. So, basically, you'll take this switch out and you'll put this in here. And we're going to do that right now together so you guys will see exactly how to do it. Alright, so what I got now is, this is the setup we have, alright? So, we got to pretend, like I said, this is just fake stuff and this is not gonna be what you're gonna have in your house I hope you'll have two switches like I mentioned this receptacle won't be here but for this purpose it's gonna be here all right we're gonna pretend this is a light in the ceiling so this won't even be here but technically it is only for video purposes all right we're gonna put this on here because basically this is gonna simulate the light in the ceiling don't worry about this like I said just worry about what I'm saying uh, this is the switch we're gonna take loose so what we got to do I'm gonna bring in your in a second close we're going to pull this switch out and pull the switch out. And we're going to start dissecting this switch because this is where we want the receptacle at. Because uh, this will be our incoming door or whatever. This is what I pick. So we're going to take this loose. Go ahead and bring you in. I'll show you how to hook this up. Super easy. So don't get involved with anything else you see here. Just know what I'm saying and concentrate on this. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take these screws off. Take the wires loose. Now... Like I said, you're going to definitely need a neutral here. So we got to look in this box and make sure we have a neutral, and we do. All right, with all the wires loose, 
Let's make sure we have, this is our switch leg going to the lights. We know that. Now, this doesn't matter because on a single pull switch, it doesn't really matter what you put on what. Now, I always tell you guys, I like the hot on the bottom. It doesn't matter, but that's just me. So we know this is the switch leg, and this is our hot. All right, I'm going to take the ground off here. Go ahead and take the ground off. All right. Now, this switch is no more. We do not need this switch. All right, so before we get too involved in this switch, let's talk about the switch for a second. All right, what you guys got is, when it comes out of your package, you'll have this. Now, I already took it off, and I started wiring, I thought, let me stop. So, these two wires right here is for your switch. It does not matter at all what you decide to put your hot on or your switch leg on. You can put it on this side, put it on that side, it don't matter. All this is is a single pull switch, so it doesn't matter. You can put it on whatever side you want. I'm going to choose to put my hot on this side. No rhyme or reason. Also on the back here, just like a GFI, and if you don't know about GFIs, definitely check my video out right here on how to wire GFIs. Because at this point, you're working with a GFI that, after that. Alright, on the back here, it says line. I don't know if it'll... Let's see if I can get it to... It says line, and down there on the bottom it says load. That's important, because if you have other GFIs later on you want to run, well, you put them on the load side. Real easy. All right, enough talking. Let's put the switch in. So what we're going to do with this wire in a minute, because this was on the switch, you see, what we're going to do is we're going to take this side of the switch. Like I said, this is the one I'm going to use for the hot. I'm going to put it right here on this wire, and I'm also going to leave that right there on there. So now what I have, there's my main hot right here. I have the main hot for the switch right here. What I'm left with on the switch is this switch leg right here. That switch leg will go to my switch from my can light that I have. So let's go ahead and just put that on there. Let's move some of this stuff out of the way so we can get this squared away. I think I kind of rhymed. All right, so here's your switch leg. Here is the other side of that black wire, because remember, the other one's on the hot. We're just going to put this on here like so. All right, like so. We're going to cut it just a hair. We're going to stick a wire nut on her. Technically now my switch is done. So now the switch will work, that light. And just for proof, let's go ahead and make sure everything's safe, which it looks like it is. Let's turn that on and see if indeed, without hooking the GFI up, if that light will actually work. Let's see. At this, at this point we know that the power is off. So now we have to go back, turn the power on. So let's try that and see indeed if it does work. All right, so there's the light. You guys can see it's on, so the switch is probably on. So now you see, right? Switch does work. So let's see now, just for giggles, if indeed that receptacle works. Because it should not, right? Because we have nothing hooked up to it, and it does not, as you can see. Now let's wire this receptacle so we have power here also. So we got the switch taken care of. And now we remember this black wire that we had on this? This was on your switch, remember? This was your hot for your switch. So now what we're going to have to do is straighten this out. And we're going to plug it into the line side of this receptacle. Because line brings your power in. All right? But I always tell you guys, ground neutral hot first. Now, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put the ground on first. Ground on. Now listen, you guys can put it straight in. You can push it in the back on this, okay? It has a little plate that you can put the ground in, but I never recommend doing that on the ground, especially because it's our last line of defense. All right, so we're going to take our neutral. Now, we don't have a neutral. I mean, we do, as you see, right? But what we have here is just a wire nutted neutral because it went up to this light. So what we have to do is we have to put a pigtail on here. So we'll take this loose. We're going to get us a wire. We're going to strip it out and we are going to make this up like so. 
All right, remember what I told you about how to make the perfect joint? If you don't know what I'm talking about, got a video for that. All right, we'll cut that off, and I will leave that obviously up there in the corner, somewhere right up in there. Now what you have is you have a neutral. All right, so what we have to do is take your, remember this was on your switch for your hot. So we're gonna cut this off. We're going to strip this out. So let me make it straight. We're gonna strip this out. We've already stripped this. I know it's probably a little too long now. The good thing about these kinds of receptacles, if you look on the back, it shows you a strip gauge right there where my thumb is. Strip gauge for back wire. All right, so we already got the ground on. Next is, drop your clients. The next is neutral. So we're gonna put that in there now, correct? And remember, neutral is always silver or it's the bigger part of your receptacle. So we're gonna put it in here and we're gonna tighten her down. All right, and then, Remember, this was your hot. So we'll put her in. We'll tighten her up. All right. Now, let's make sure we got everything. We have our hot. We're gonna pretend there's another switch on here with something going to a fan or something. So obviously there's not, right? On this one, same hot going in you have for your hot for your GFI. And you have the hot for your switch leg. All right, this is your old switch leg that you had going to your light up in the ceiling. This is your neutral going to your GFI. Now, let's see if all that works. Let me push this semi back in the box, move the camera back a little bit, and let's see if it works. Now, just so there's no funny business, let's go ahead and leave the camera rolling so you guys will know I'm not trying to change anything on you. There's no mag anything magic now. I would never push wires in a box like this, but this is just for video purposes only. So, you know, it's just, just so we can verify everything's working correctly and yada, yada, yada. All right, I wanna make sure nothing's touching. Everything looks kosher. Let's turn the power back on. All right, with the power back on, you see I need to reset this GFI. Let's go ahead and Let's go ahead and do that. GFI is reset now. So we see the light is not on because the switch is not on, right? Let's, let's just see if I can plug this in and it will come on. It should, right? All right. Well, let's do, let's do one thing further. Let's see if that switch is controlling this GFI. It is not. So that's a good sign, right? All right, so we know the switch is not working that. All right, now let's pretend that that is your overhead light still. Boom. See how easy that was, guys? Super easy. All right, and you still have your switch, and you just added a receptacle for your wife's curling iron or your curling iron. All right, guys, I will leave a link down below to a receptacle exactly like this. Maybe not this one, but very similar to this. Try to make sure that you do one wire at a time. It's super easy to do. Tackle one part at a time and you can't go wrong with it. It's that easy, guys. I'm telling you, this is just simple, and you can keep adding these. Like, you can literally put switch, receptacle, switch, receptacle, switch, receptacle, all the way down there if you need it, more than one receptacle. It's, it's just that easy. I mean, it really it is. So, all right. Next video is gonna be about a pretty cool product that I think is cool, especially if you have little kids or you just want to add a little, well, Definitely check next week's video out, guys. Listen, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification so you guys know when I upload. Also, down below is my Amazon link. I have plenty of stuff, tools that I've been using. Uh, if you buy from my channel, it will help my channel. I put all the money back into stuff like this so I can keep making these videos for you guys so you guys can see how to do things easy. It's super easy. Don't be afraid to tackle anything on your own. Also, make sure that you turn the power off. I shouldn't have to tell you guys that by now. But some people just need to hear that every time. Turn your power off. It's that easy. You're not in a race. You're not saving people's lives. You're just replacing the switch in the receptacle. Super easy, right? All right. Like what you see, like, and subscribe. God bless. And we'll see you on the next one. Have a great day.